Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix all DirectX error messages and errors when trying to play FC24 on your Windows computer. Now, the first thing that you need to do is download a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. Once you download that, go ahead and launch the program. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is select the clean tab and then go all the way to the bottom and then click on clean next to your graphics card. So we want to clear those cache files. Once you've cleared those files out, as you can see I've done that, you then need to also click on clean next to DirectX shader cache and then go OK and then clear out all those files as well. So now that we've cleared the cache files for our graphics card and also the DirectX shader cache, the next thing that you want to do now is go on to the fix tab and you then need to scroll all the way to the bottom and you then need to find the location of the game. So I already have it selected in my browse here. You can see it's there and you want to select fc24.exe and go open and then select your launcher. So I'm using the EA app. You will get free attempts with the free version. The pro version is unlimited attempts and also the pro feature comes with many more features and you would also be helping me out as a developer and help with future updates for Easy Game Utility, which I'm on it. I've got so many other ideas of features that I want to add to the program. So once you've selected the game, we now need to go ahead and click on Attempt Fix. Now this is going to run through a few different troubleshooting methods and things like that, and then it's going to launch um, FC24. If it doesn't launch the game, don't panic, just go ahead and launch the um, program manually as it would have still ran those troubleshooting methods. So you can see there it launched the EA app and it's now launching the game. So hopefully Easy Game Utility would have fixed the DirectX error messages that you're getting. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do, the game's launching at the moment, so I need to just do an all F4, there we go. If Easy Game Utility didn't help, then the next thing that you also need to do is click onto the Graphics tab. And you now need to ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So as you can see, I've got an AMD RX 6750 XT. You now need to click on Driver Download next to your graphics card. And this is just going to take you to the site, so for my case, AMD's website, where I can then download the latest driver for my graphics card. If you're not sure how to install and do all this anyway, I will put some links in the description below. Now, once you've updated your graphics card, the next thing you also want to do is click on the link in the description below to head on over to DirectX website or Microsoft's website, should I say, and you then need to select your language and go download. Once that's downloaded the DX web setup file, you need to open it up. And you then need to go I accept if you do agree to the terms and then go next. And then if you want to install the Bing bar, that's up to you. If you don't, then unselect it and then go next again. Also, I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that I'll do, which I'll add more methods to on how you can fix DirectX errors and stuff with FC24 if the methods in this video didn't help. Now, as you can see, I've got the latest files there, so that's all good. The next thing you also want to do is right click on the start menu icon and go to settings and you then want to click on update and security and just ensure you have the latest Windows updates installed on your computer. So click on the check for updates button as DirectX is also updated through Windows updates. Now go ahead and try the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is open up File Explorer and go to your documents folder. You now need to go to the FC24 folder and then we want to right click on the settings folder and go rename and we're just going to add CS onto the end of it. In fact, you could always do this to the actual FC24 folder like I did there. Now, once you've done that, go ahead again and try the game. If that didn't help, then we now need to go to the location where we installed the game again. Now, once you're in the location within File Explorer, just scroll down until you find FC24. Right click on it and go to properties. Select compatibility and you now want to click on disable full screen optimizations and go apply and then OK and then try launching the game again. If that didn't help, then the next thing that I'd suggest is you try unplugging all devices that are currently plugged into your computer and stuff like that. And if you're still having the same problems, then you could always try a different user profile. But like I said, check out the link in the description below. I hope this video did help you out though and you enjoyed it. 
If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more Computer Sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next one.